So a lark's head is very simple in concept if you were working with a short piece of string. All you would be doing is taking this loop and wrapping it around the frame and then putting your two loose ends through the loop. Like that. Essentially, that's all there is to a lark's head knot. Those are making up all of the lacing along the sides of the frame on the main body of your snowshoe. The problem comes, you're not working with two loose ends, you're working with one loose end. You've already laced most of your snowshoe with this end. All you have left to work with is this end. And so people have a hard time conceptualizing how do I make the lark's head knot when I can only work with one end. So basically this is the steps. With a short piece, I'm gonna show it and then we'll show it on the, on the actual frame of the snowshoe. You go around the top of the frame with your loose end and you hold a loop here, okay? And then you bring the loose end around the back and push it through that loop that you're gonna hold with your finger and this is how you get a lark's head knot. Now you can imagine it's much more difficult when you're pulling through about 50 yards of lacing or I can't remember if it's 50 or 25, but it's a lot of lacing and you're pulling and pulling and pulling through and you lose track of where you're at. So it takes a little practice, but that's it. That's how it works. I'll show you one more time. This is the end that's already been laced in your snowshoe. You can't use it anymore. This is your end that you're working with. This is the inside of your snowshoe. This is the outside of your snowshoe. Take your loose end around over the top, bring it up inside the frame, over, okay, I need that a little bit longer, and then just like that, there's your lark set. On the back it looks like this.